hi welcome to the part 22 of this playlist we are looking at real certification questions and today we will cover the following topics please hit the subscribe and the like button and I will keep continuing posting similar contents for previous parts please refer parts 1 221 of this playlist there is one old playlist please refer that as well it has hundreds of questions still valid still valid still valid let's look at this one there is one tiny company and it is on uh, premises okay and it does not have any virtualized resources the application data is stored on NFS file system NFS is used for distributed file sharing you must have seen in your office in the old days your computer and other computers were connected to a shared drive and a shared printer as well NFS is same so if your company your computer and other computers everybody is sharing or keeping the project data in a shared drive then it is important to take backups otherwise you know if the shared drive uh, goes, goes go down everybody loses all of their contents hence usually companies say it is my compliance requirement you have to compliance means there is no question of should I you have to now we have four options you see everything is about putting it into AWS and when you talk about files which are in NFS a good place is S3 buckets that's why you see S3 in all options now what do we choose here if you see these four options C and D are talking about volume gateways a is talking about file gateway so you might say hey NFS is file system I should use file gateway and only B only B only B is talking about hardware 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 so it's like I will have to put one hardware here right first so that it can send data to AWS S3 so the first thing even before you use file gateway etc please put the hardware first no? and this hardware is already loaded with storage gateway software and this can be anything file gateway volume gateway or tape gateway now just like our question here is talking about branch office the documentation is clear it talks about branch office how you can use storage gateway hardware appliance so this will be my answer primarily because a C and D are talking about software not hardware the first thing we have to do is fit a hardware first so this question it is talking about you know there is a website which is a election reporting website so we all must have seen a uh, election report that media publishes similar to that there is a website which does the reporting so you have this website here and this is doing the reporting on election votes this is put on EC2 instance here and there is already an auto scaling group that this is leveraging the data is stored in RDS there is a load balancer here and all users access this application via the load balancer so everything looks great few things to note are that the website is updated once an hour and hundreds of individuals they check the data elections are coming so the firm expects that there would be a boost not bon vita not compliant there will be a boost in demand and as usual if the demand increases your infrastructure 
should be able to manage the high demands increased demands so you have four options let's start with the most inaccurate option D it says use a reverse proxy and then apply some caching and etc this is wrong we never use reverse proxy for increasing the capacity see when you see such questions it is obvious it is obvious it is obvious you have to use caching now if you see caching there are multiple things like see, you see elastic cache here should i use elastic cache so elastic cache will be deployed here just above the database so that the reports when they put the queries it will hit the database instead of hitting the database it will hit this cache if it has the data it will go back here if it doesn't have the data then it will hit here okay so that is fine but is there a better option let's look at b b says i will use cloud front web distribution and it also has caching it will distribute the application and also has caching perfect 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 why 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 because because whenever you see whenever you see this word nations many, many nations global many nations it has to be cloud front it will speed up your distribution that is point one how 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 it will use edge locations in center of internet it will use edge locations edge locations will give you lowest latency now someone would ask what is edge location so aws has has its own mechanism for data processing analysis close to you, the clients so they will have these endpoints very close to the clients and these are helpful to deploy apis and other tools outside data centers for example you have say marks and spencers in the uk marks and spencers and you want some sort of analysis to happen on that store itself for example the shelf the camera is scanning the shelf and saying hey you know what we just caught three more bread packets so this data will go back and if it goes to cloud and analysis and come back in the store it will be taking a lot of time so we will put an edge there okay so what happens is either the communication happens through the edge locations and edge locations are primarily operated by aws for this purpose and if it happens through edge locations the bandwidth the network bandwidth or whatever you call the communication is really fast now you will say hey you talk, talk uh, <laughs> you spoke about caching where is caching so you see this prior pause this and read this so this one clearly says copies of your files are held in cache in multiple edge locations around the world so this is my final answer lock this move forward let's look at the next one now here goes the story you have a persistent databases database on premises this is a database and this needs to be put on cloud where on cloud on on ec2 instance okay okay if i have to put it then what was the configuration you already had i was already having 64000 iop that means that means that means this guy here was operating at a 65k iops speed now if you have to move to aws aws what instance type will you choose so we have four options first one talks about i3 io optimized it can go up to 3 million iops it will be a bit too much the other thing is it leverages local ephemeral storage to achieve the iops requirement because it is fast it is fast because it local ephemeral means temporary storage in memory if you switch off the instance that data in the ephemeral storage is wiped out okay but i think this will be too much for a 64k iops requirement why will i put a, a extremely higher configuration in this case so i would strike this off nitro nitro is great 64000 iops this is what we want this would be my answer i would build a ec2 instance i would put a black store and i would use ssd which is perfectly fine and i would configure the volume for a 64000 iops perfectly fine this is my answer c says we use efs elastic file system that will not meet the iops requirement whenever you have some like data warehouse workloads and etc where your iops are high you never use efs use efs just like nfs in your 
current on-prem world where if you have multiple users you want to store files in a shared drive so that if anybody's computer wipes out you do not lose those files so that's kind of a shared drive mechanism and your shared drive mechanism will not work for such high requirements of IOPS the last one says hey I would have two volumes okay 32 thousand each and I would create a logical volume I would aggregate both and achieve this IOPS requirement mate you are using these two volumes that is fine but which type will you use it will, you, will they have i3 IO type nitro based types I do not have that information D looks incomplete because how will I make that call for other options I know what uh, instance type is there hence this is my answer lock this please hit the subscribe and the like button it takes a lot of lot of lot of effort to create these contents and all attempts are made to bring this to accuracy please refer the previous parts for previous questions in this part we covered questions linked with these topics there is a thanks icon below this video if you have a bit of appreciation you can put there no obligation though like I say always refer this playlist which is the latest one on solution architect associate there is one more old playlist there are a lot of questions there do practice only practice would practice would make a person perfect I could have told practice practice makes a man perfect but then woman would feel bad so practice makes a person perfect. I hope you have focused on the concepts. If you have any comments or better suggestions, please drop in your comments and keep this channel active.